Winston Churchill once said, Now is not the end. It's not even the beginning of the end. But it is, perhaps, the end of the beginning. A journey has conflict. It has hardships and it has heroes. It's fitting for Josh Cunningham to have an all-conference caliber season as he plays this season with unwavering passion. This is his journey. A top 100 recruit out of Chicago, Cunningham began his college career at Bradley University where he played his freshman year for the Braves. A coaching change, however, forced him to look at other options. I gave the coach, the new coach at my old school a chance just to see about him, uh, see how he was, learn a little, little bit about him, reach out to people that, because I know people that have played for him before. So I talked to them, just went about it for about a week. And then um, me and my mother, we sat down, we talked about it, and um, when we came up with the decision that I should, I should leave. And that's what I did, and then once it got out, like social media and everything, and then um, school started contacting me, my high school coach, and from there it was just like starting all over from me being, being a senior in high school again, and um, just going through the process and making sure this time that the fit was right for me. After redshirting a year due to NCAA transfer rules, Cunningham got off to a rousing start during the 2016-17 season, but yet another setback would hit as he suffered a gruesome injury in just the second regular season game. Started off doing good, feeling good, and then we play Alabama, I think it was like 15 seconds left, I went up to dunk the ball, got hurt, and found out that I tore a ligament in my foot and it was just kind of downhill from there. It was kind of tough at first, but then I had to look at it like it's a chance that I could come back and play this season. So I just looked at it like everything happened for a reason, and I just attacked the rehab and was able to come back within the three months, the three months and just did my best. Cunningham rehabbed tirelessly to get back on the court and finish the campaign. But just weeks after the season, Cunningham dealt with another coaching change. It was another challenge, but became his opportunity to lead. As a player, I was kind of like, oh man, again, this is going to be my third coach. I'm like, oh, I really didn't know what to expect. But then once I heard who, who was hired and I um, did some research on him, I heard a lot about him. I was kind of like, oh yeah, this, this can be something special. And then just from there, I just embraced them. And I feel like it's one of the greatest things that could have happened to me. First of all, he's a great kid. You know, I think the, the first thing I was, I was impressed with outside of his size uh, and, and his skill set was just, uh, he's a guy that the first time I met him, he looks you in the eye, he's got a great smile. And uh, he's really, really uh, motivated and passionate about becoming a great player. Uh, I think Coach Grant, Grant is a great person um, off the court and on the court. Um, he expects nothing but the best from everybody, and um, I just like the, his style. It's, it's something different, never seen before, but I really appreciate it. While the journey is not over for Cunningham, he continues to lead the Flyers and compete at a high level, hoping to continue the program's excellence. I feel great. I never felt this good um, in college, so right now I feel 100%. Uh, I feel like my game is taking the next step and I'm just ready to go.